My goal for today is to redeem myself from whatever the heck was happening in yesterday's video. If you didn't see my ice cream beauty box, was it the box? The bag, try on, you need to. I think initially I was giving the eyeshadow palette and the look way more credit than I needed to. In hindsight, like literally at the end of the day, I was like, what the heck is going on here? Listen, it did not wear pretty. It wore really, really bad. It was, yeah, no. Like I'm not keeping that palette because it was that bad on my eyeballs. Today we get to play around with Ace Beauty. I got the Chic Beauty box, we did the unboxing. Now we get to do the try on and you guys wanted me to play the game. I never even got around to it. Hopefully it's an easy game that I can follow because I am terrible at following directions, instructions. My makeup is on so I can actually apply this product which is supposed to be like a bronzer. No, it's not mama, this is, if I can get it open, this is most definitely going to be a highlight in my opinion because of how shimmery it is. Which is fine, I'm not mad at her. So we'll go ahead, you see? Yeah, there's no freaking way this would have been a bronzer because look at the shine, look at the luminosity. I'm gonna have to blend this out because it was kind of like a lot. It's NYX, they have great product. Not only are they affordable, but they have really good quality and I'm really dramatic and I overdid it and now I look like I got punched by Mike Tyson on the cheek. So let me try and say, hold on. I'm gonna go ahead and use the brush I used to apply my foundation to kind of tone that down. Estos pelitos, these little baby hairs are driving me freaking crazy. Do you see how fast my hair's growing? I got it trimmed maybe two, three weeks ago. It was up here and now it's just, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, uh, backwards. Ugh, it's hot in here, let me turn on the fan. I'm very curious as to what look I'm gonna create. So you know what, screw it. We're gonna just dive on into the eyeshadow palette and you need to wish me luck. You guys, this is way more complex. I need more than one player. I can't play this by myself and I need to pull out 24 cards and put it in front of me. And it, um, it's, it tells you whether if you should go neon or matte. So listen, we're gonna do our own spin-off of the game because I am on my own today. In reality, that's nothing new. I'm always here by myself. Well, Cam, but Cam doesn't count. She can't play the game. So the cards are going to look like this. I'm gonna shuffle them, and I think I'll whip out maybe four cards. Don't know what they'll be, so we'll do this together. And then we'll just kind of go with whatever the card says. Hopefully, it'll help me create a fun but nice look. So I am going to look like this. One, two, three, four. What? I got Purple Rain, VHS, Queen, Shoulder Pads. What does that mean? Those are the names of the eyeshadows. Wait, Purple Rain is this shimmer shade. Shoulder Pads, so we have this one. Where's Shoulder Pads? Shoulder Pads is this purple up here. Okay, so two purples, got that. Queen is this pink, so this trio here. Okay, I'm liking it. And then VHS, oh no. And then VHS. I basically need to come up with a look using these two purples, the pink, and this shimmer shade here. Oh my, and I only get one matte. That's not fair, but we're gonna make it work. Oh, this is kind of fun. My lids are prepped, they're primed. Y'all already know I'm using my clean canvas in fair. I'm gonna grab a fluffy brush. I'm gonna dip into shoulder pads very lightly. Ooh, this is Ace Beauty. So you know we're gonna get really good quality, which means that we need to make sure we really tap out because these colors I've been given to play with are no joke. So I'm gonna go very light along the crease. This is a fun little challenge. And then I'm gonna blow it out. That's a nice little trick that you guys can use. If you're limited to the shades, you don't wanna go super, super dark directly on the crease and you don't have a transition shade, go as light as possible before really going in and building it up with whatever shade you do have. You have a black and you go very, very lightweight, it'll look like a gray. And just make your own transition shade. And then you slowly go in and start building it. Okay, so far so good. I set that brush to the side because I'm gonna revisit that later. I grabbed an eyeshadow brush. We're gonna go into purple rain. I'm hoping it picks up well. Oh, that's so light. I'm not mad at it, it's just light, super pretty. I'm gonna tap that on the center and I'm gonna kind of keep it there. Oh, that is such a, it's a lavender really, it's so pretty. And I'm just gonna kind of tap because I want it slightly diffused. I'm gonna flip that brush over. I'll dip into Queen. Also super light, but I think it's gonna look pretty. And I'll tap Queen on that inner corner and I'll bring it over just a smidge that purple. 
I don't know how this happened, but I'm so glad the shades that were selected by the cards work well. I don't know about this one though, because VHS has a little bit of green and yellow and it's so different. I'm gonna have to get creative with that one. Maybe not. Maybe it's not that hard. Let's see what the eye looks like at the end. All right, this was easy. You see, these eyeshadows, the quality, way better than yesterday's eyeshadow palette. I feel real good about this. And then I'm gonna dip back into shoulder pads. I will tap out. I'll tap that in this corner here. We're gonna do the same thing we normally would do, which is we're just gonna keep tapping because we wanna remove most of the product off of the brush. We wanna build it out here. And once we've done that, we'll go in gentle, circular motions, but I'm bringing it in versus out because I don't want to blow it up and make it too crazy out here. I want it to look gradient towards the lavender. It's okay to hit the crease a smidge just to kind of emphasize it. Whatever's left on the brush, I will drag on the lower lash line. I'm not going to bring it all the way in. I want to keep the inner portion nice and bright and I feel like I might just take VHS and put it in that inner corner. I don't know if that's gonna work. I think I'll leave that for last. I have to like build up the lashes and pop on some mascara and stuff. By the way, the lash step mascara that I got is that lighter shade and it's not gonna work with what I have going on. I'll apply because I want you guys to see what it looks like, but I'll go over it with a black because there's no way, there's no way that shade is going to work with what I have going on. This game is fun. Uh, I feel like I have PTSD because the packaging on this and this are kind of similar. I know different tones, but I was like, Ugh. the last step mascara I got is in Goddess. This is our color. Like, how does that, how did, I don't, we're just going to pop it on and see what happens. There are no actual instructions or explanation about this product. I wonder if this is merely a primer. I'm gonna apply this, let it sit, and then I'm going to go on the Lash Step website to figure out if it's a plain old mascara with color or is it a primer? Mm. That curve though, that curve is kind of weird. It's weird, but it works because it's really hugging that lash line. I think this is a fun color though. Just doesn't go with what we're doing today. But here we have one coat. It just kind of makes them look ginger. It's a plain old, plain old mascara. Now I have to make this one match in order for them to kind of look the same. And then I'm gonna go in with mascara and falsies and I'll fix this, give me a second. I can't use the eyeliner because the game didn't pick a shade that works with this color and this is like a, a brown. No, it's like a red. But if you guys saw the unboxing, you've seen this water activated liner is beautiful. So go check it out if you didn't, but I'm not done because I have to like do the inner corner. We're gonna grab a brush and go into VHS. And I think we'll just pop that baby in here to brighten at the top and at the bottom. I think it's cute. We could do it without the VHS. I think it shifts the look a little bit, but the game is the game and it said use VHS. So yes, here we go. I want to create a look with these blues. They're really pretty. Did you guys get this box? Did you get the palette? So cool. I want to play again. I should totally do a whole nother video <laughs> with different cards, of course, to see how that works. Now we have to apply the lippy. I forgot what shade it was, but this is going to look amazing. Okay, hold on. Let me remove the balm that I have on right now. I'm gonna grab this lip liner by Italia. It is in the shade Wine. I need to sharpen it. I'll apply this on the perimeter. Look how creamy this is. I forgot I even had it. It's good. And then we're gonna go in with the Bare Minerals in Focus. I'm gonna take it as close to the lip line as possible. That's a cute little combo, but that's just me saying it and I'm biased, so what do you guys think? Here's an important reminder that the giveaway is still open. You might wanna go check it out, submit your entry form. We're closing in just a few days. And it is time we shout out our cheese squad. These wonderful people here on screen along with me have joined channel memberships. They are part of the G squad and are supporting the channel at a higher level. YouTube has provided them with their very own community page, a badge that tells everyone they are channel members and supporters of the channel. Every single one of their comments are highlighted. They have exclusive access to additional videos and 
extra giveaways. So if you're ever interested in joining the G Squad channel memberships here on my channel, all you really need to do is hit the join button right below this video. And if you don't see it on your device, not a problem. Make sure you visit the description box where you will find a link that's gonna help you join. Two playlists are gonna pop up on screen and they contain way more beauty content. I feel like you're really gonna enjoy it. So I highly recommend you check them out and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.